In the year 1381, a seismic tide of discontent surged across the verdant landscapes of the English countryside. This transformative epic would etch its name into history as the Peasants' Revolt, an epical uprising that would forever alter the course of societal dynamics and class struggles. The roots of this upheaval delved deep into the soil of agrarian society, where the peasants bore the weight of insurmountable hardships, from oppressive feudal obligations to the enduring aftermath of the Black Death's devastation. As the curtain rises on this gripping tale, we bear witness to the emergence of enigmatic figures, indelible protagonists who would come to personify the spirit of the revolting masses. Names like Watt Tyler and John Ball would become symbols of hope and defiance, heralding a clarion call for justice and retribution against the suffocating yoke of serfdom. The fuse that ignited the powder keg of discontent was the imposition of a novel poll tax, a seemingly innocuous decree that unraveled the patience of the suffering population. The fervor of unrest quickly metamorphosed into a sweeping tempest, an unstoppable force that surged towards the heart of power, the bustling streets of London. Like the torrents of a mighty river, the peasants' ranks swelled, each footstep resonating with their collective aspirations. An end to the shackles of serfdom, the pursuit of equitable wages, and an emancipation from the crushing weight of fiscal oppression. The resonance of their unified voice rippled through the corridors of power, compelling the ruling elite to grapple with a reality they had long ignored. As the climactic moments loomed, the walls of London were breached, and the restless sea of rebellion clashed with the bastions of authority. King Richard II himself, a young monarch ill-prepared for the tempest he faced, found himself face to face with the embodiment of peasant fury, Watt Tyler. This encounter, fraught with tension and uncertainty, held within it the potential to reshape the very fabric of society. Tragically, amidst negotiations, Tyler met his untimely end, struck down by a force that sought to silence the burgeoning revolution. But his sacrifice did not snuff out the flames of rebellion. Instead, it infused the cause with renewed vigor. In the wake of the revolt's suppression, King Richard II offered appeasement in the form of promises, pledges of change and reformation. Yet, as the fervor subsided and the dust settled, many of these promises were cast aside, relegated to the annals of history as mere empty words. However, the legacy of the peasants' revolt endured. Its indomitable spirit and unyielding demand for justice would echo across the centuries, leaving an indelible imprint on the tapestry of human struggle for equality and fundamental rights. Ultimately, the peasants' revolt serves as a timeless testament to the power of collective action, a harbinger of the potential for transformative change when the oppressed rise to demand their due. It remains a poignant reminder that the pursuit of a more just and equitable society is an ongoing odyssey, perpetually seeking to redefine the boundaries of possibility. The echoes of those long-forgotten voices resonate even now, eternally intertwined with the unceasing quest for a more equitable world. If you like this video, I guarantee you will like others just like this on our YouTube channel. Go check it out. Oh, and make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought of this video or how we can improve by now, fellow historians.